As the cruise ship approached New York on Saturday, it was found to be carrying a grim and unexpected catch. The carcass of a 44-foot-long endangered whale draped across its bow. The whale, which marine authorities described as a say whale, is known for its rapid swimming and preference for deep waters, far from the coast. Its body was discovered as the ship neared the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal, and the authorities were immediately notified, said MSC Cruises, which owns the ship. A spokeswoman for the company said in an email that it had comprehensive measures in place to avoid such collisions, including training deck officers and altering itineraries in certain areas to avoid them. We will continue to evaluate and update our procedures with our partners and the authorities, she said. Marine authorities said that they had towed the animal, estimated to weigh some 50,000 pounds, from the bow and transferred it by boat to a beach in Sandy Hook, NJ, where they conducted a necropsy on Tuesday. The investigation is continuing, but preliminary results, broken bones in the whale's right flipper, tissue trauma along its right shoulder blade, a full stomach and decent layer of blubber, all pointed toward the animal having been in otherwise good health when it was likely struck and killed by the ship, said Robert A. Giovanni, the chief scientist of the Atlantic Marine Conservation Society, which is leading the investigation. The whale was already pretty decomposed by the time scientists began the necropsy, he added. So they worked quickly to collect samples that could be tested for contaminants and other biotoxins that would indicate any other relevant health issues. It looks like the animal was alive and it was hit by a vessel, he said, noting that investigators had not ruled out other factors. An investigation is underway after a cruise ship that docked in Maine earlier this week sailed into New York City with a 44-foot dead whale across its bow. The MSC Meraviglia was docked in Portland on Tuesday before heading to ports in Canada, but three days before that it docked in Brooklyn with an endangered say whale caught on the ship. Cruise line officials say they notified authorities straight away, adding they follow all regulations designed to protect whales. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the whale was taken to New Jersey to conduct an examination to find out whether it was already dead before it was hit by the ship. Say whales are one of the largest whale species and are internationally protected. A cruise ship docked in Brooklyn over the weekend with a gruesome passenger pinned to its bow, a dead, 50,000-pound endangered say whale. The 44-foot adult female whale's death is the latest example of marine mammals being killed by maritime traffic. About 30 large whales were found dead along the New York and New Jersey coasts last year, according to the Atlantic Marine Conservation Society. Most showed signs of being struck by boats. While the investigation into the suspected cause of death for this say whale is still ongoing, the risks to large whales from ship strikes remain a great concern in our region, wrote Howard Rosenbaum, director of the Ocean Giants program at Wildlife Conservation Society, via email. The dead whale was hauled from the Brooklyn cruise terminal to the beach in Sandy Hook, in J. There, Atlantic Marine Conservation Society officials performed a necropsy that found the whale had a full stomach and was in good health. Further examination found that its right shoulder blade was injured and its right flipper was fractured, likely as a result of a ship strike. While the whale's official cause of death had not been determined, preliminary signs pointed to a ship collision. A spokesperson for the operator of the ship, MSC Cruises, said the company has protocols to avoid crashing into whales. Deck officers receive training on protecting marine life, and the company sometimes alters its itineraries to avoid areas where whales have been spotted. On Saturday, a whale was discovered on the bow of our ship as the vessel approached the port of New York, MSC Cruises spokesperson Sidney Sterling wrote in an email. We immediately notified the relevant authorities. Ten years ago, a 45-foot female whale was hit by a Norwegian cruise line ship in the Hudson River. It's estimated that 20,000 whales die annually as a result of being struck by ships worldwide. New York Harbor is home to the Atlantic Ocean's busiest U.S. port. Nearly 7.5 million containers come in and out of the harbor every year. About 40% of whale deaths on the East Coast are directly related to human interactions. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says humpback whales have been dying in increasing numbers along the Atlantic coast since 2016, a pattern the federal agency describes as an unusual mortality event. Cruise ships are a common cause of whale mortality around the world, wrote Danielle Brown, director of research at Gotham Whale. 
whales feed inside the shipping channels that these vessels use to transit to and from ports in New York and New Jersey. Last month, Representative Frank Pallone Jr., Democrat New Jersey, sent a letter to the Departments of Commerce, Transportation and Homeland Security requesting that they enforce ship speed restrictions in the New York and New Jersey ports for vessels longer than 65 feet. Thirteen other Congress members joined Pallone in expressing concern that increasing harbor traffic threatens migrating whales. While white-bellied say whales usually live far offshore and away from busy ports, climate change has brought more whales closer to shore. According to NOAA, whales are affected by changing water temperatures and currents. Climate change negatively affects whale feeding behavior, stress levels, and reproduction. Although say whales are endangered due to historic whaling, their populations are unknown. Their diet includes plankton, small schooling fish, and cephalopods such as squid. They are usually found in deep subtropical, temperate, and subpolar waters, and spend the hot summer months in the Gulf of Maine. NOAA's Office of Law Enforcement is investigating this incident. Mariners operating along the U.S. East Coast are encouraged to slow their vessel speed, stay alert, and report any sightings of right whales or any dead, injured or entangled whales, wrote the Atlantic Marine Conservation Society.